Hi, it's Robert Vernon with another one of our tips and today we're going to learn how to add bleed to your document in InDesign and it's pretty much the same in any doc any program whether it's Quark, Illustrator or InDesign. I'm going to pull up a document and you'll see here that it is uh, well it's five by seven and there's no bleed so what is bleed? Bleed is extending the color or image past the trim area so that when the printed piece is cut there'll be no white gaps. It'll be pure color and giving you a better print job. So the industry standard is an eighth of an inch bleed all the way around and uh, check with your service provider to make sure that's what they want but most likely that that will be adequate. Okay so how do we add bleed? Well we'll see here we've got a block of black, we've got a photograph, another block of black at the top. So what we're going to do is simply extend the block like so. I'm going to drag the corner out, down, and to the left. You can add too much is okay because what we're going to do is set the amount of bleed when we create the PDF. I'm going to extend the sides here. You can tell by the ruler up top whether you're going far enough. I'm actually going a quarter of an inch past, which is way more than we need. Extend that out to the sides, and extend the uh, black up. So now what we do, we're going to go ahead and create the PDF. If you've seen any of our other instructional videos, uh, we have one that shows you exactly how to do it, but again, we're going to export to the desktop as a PDF. And right, we're going to select PDF X1A as the standard for offset printing, digital printing. I'm going to select the marks and bleeds, crop marks. The bleed is set here to 1.25, which is an eighth of an inch all the way around. And we're going to we're going to export just this page, which is page three. This is a four-page document. Just this page has the bleed. I'm going to select export. And there it is in Acrobat. You see we have our bleed at the top. The crop marks are coming in an eighth of an inch exactly. And that's all there is to it to create bleed in your InDesign document. And Illustrator and Quark are very much similar. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can call me 908-237-4646 or robert at digitalartsimaging.com. Thanks for watching.